Hey guys, this is Cake Boss from Chester. And this is the beginning part of my shopping bag. So I'm gonna tell you what I've done. This is made out of posage. I made four different pieces. Let them dry on styrofoam. And then I had to use edible glue to glue the pieces together. And I used some buttercream. So what I'm gonna do right now is clean up my edges re-glue this side and I'm going to spray it red so you can see the edible glue which is Tylex on water right there you can see it over there too and the red part in here guys is just um a cake I did a quarter sheet cake and I cut it into three layers covered it with red fondant Cause that's gonna be extra cake that the birthday girl can cut. So I'm gonna start off with put on my knife. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna clean away some of the buttercream, the excess buttercream before I go ahead and start to spread. So this is all we're gonna do. Clean up my lines. See how the excess buttercream is falling off, as you can see, right onto the board. So when I go to airbrush it, it won't have this. Just like if you was painting your walls in your house, you would kind of sand it down if you had some type of, you know, stack with some holes or whatever. So that's what I'm doing here. I wanted to shoot a video. This is my first bag cake. So I want to shoot a video just for myself too, just to make sure, you know, the next time what I could do, what I should do, what will be easier. So, okay guys, I'll be back with the fin finished results. Hey guys, this is my Keisha coming to you from Chester. And here is the end result of my American Girl shopping bag so I finished airbrushing it guys and I did some tissue paper out of gum paste and I let that dry on some styrofoam just to get it the crinkle look and it's pretty hard so yeah um so pretty much guys like I said before that I did the panels out of gum paste and I let them dry for about a week and on that fourth day I took some Tylex and some water and I glued them together I don't know if it's going to turn it's pretty big Tylex and water and I glued the pieces together guys so after it dried completely I made a cake and it's about I did use a quarter and I did um three layers you can't see it but it's underneath the tissue paper I covered it in red fondant and I dropped it in well you can see it in the previous video so then I just took about four inch squares and I made American Girl box you can see her picture up there and it's just the back of it just the illusion that you know she have a doll and it's in the bag and this is the doll so everything except for the tissue paper in the box is gum paste everything else is fondant the American Girl star and the letters is made out of fondant the box is wrapped in a fondant we have fondant hearts on top so guys I would say this cake was simple but it's very it wasn't and I wanted to shoot a video just for, you know, the next time that I have to do something like this, that I know my mistakes. In the previous video, I showed you that, you know, when I did glue my pieces together, you could see the glue. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I did, you know, carve it down and trim the glue off. So on an airbrush, you really couldn't see it. See, you couldn't see it. 
but I didn't like the way my panels was looking so I did a strip I don't know if you can see it but I did a strip and I just went ahead and airbrushed that red as well so and it's shiny because I didn't steam it it's just airbrushed so it would keep it shiny so that's the back of it guys tissue paper all the way around inside the box so guys this is my American Girl doll cake well the shopping bag of course you guys can shoot me a comment follow me on Facebook at JJ Sweet Tooth or go to my website jjsweettooth.com shoot me a comment let me know what you think of my cake guys as always thanks for the love and the support